and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. Uh, we are not where I said I was going to be last time. The reason for that is that uh, this is the second time I'm recording this episode 123. But the first attempt, while it did go through, while, while the video file was rendering, I happened to accidentally... Uh, Snag the wire, uh, the cord to the uh, external hard drive, and that basically renders the entire video file corrupt and unusable. So, here's a um, summary of what happened in that episode. So, as you see, we are near Silo. Here we are to meet some battle mages, but more about that later. So, um,. I handed in the quest at the Fighter Guild and is now the rank of Guardian, I think, and we are to go to Coral once more. Um, I handed in the uh, Meridius Shrine quest and obtained... Why am I carrying a day for Go away. Um, and obtained... Oh, I stored that ring in my house in Skinware. Um, a Kishidi ring, which essentially allows me to go chameleon and fortifies my um, acrobatics. But quite a lot, actually. It was pretty valuable. Um, you'll notice that we are not carrying a bow. The reason for that is that I decided during the last episode, the episode that wasn't aired because of the aforementioned mistake, that um, continuous use of the bow would require a lot of soul gems. And while they are somewhat readily available, I prefer to not use them on bats. When I get into using melee weapons more, I might have gathered up a large enough supply that basically it won't matter. But but also because these are Knights of the Nine set. Uh, so, I'm going to pick up another bow as soon as I find one. Uh, granted that it's unenchanted. If it's enchanted, we're not going to pick it up. Maybe if, we, if it was something that we can sell, but otherwise no. Uh, as for plans, so we are to do this Cylon quest here. For the major skills, uh, we are supposed to find a huge black soul gem. So, and obviously give that back to Traven once we have acquired it. But, given the location of this, let me go back to the map here, uh, we are very close to the Priory of the Nine. That means that it's optimal to before, after we obtain the Black Soul Gem, but before we hand it in to Traven back in the Imperial City, that we go and finish up the Knights of the Nine. Well, I, th I assume finish up the Knights of the Nine DLC. And we'll eventually go back to the Imperial City if anyway. And um, so uh, w when we do, we will hand in the Black Soul Gem. I don't think it's something that, unless it triggers some kind of cataclysm, which I really don't think it would. Uh, so yeah, that's that's the, that's the plan for the next couple of episodes. Right now, let's go to Cylon. Let's actually see what the quests say. I need to travel to the south of Cyrodiil and meet a group of battle mages preparing to storm the ruins of Cylon. Okay. I think I have an idea of how this works. Oh, that looks like the ones in question. Selfie. Traven sent you? Just you? That helps the odds, but not much. We're still going to be outnumbered. Follow me. I'll show you what we're up against. Okay. Well, those two look fairly burly.
This is it. The entrance to Cylorn is just ahead. You've been wow. watching the site for a while and have tried to stay out of sight ever since the original plan was blown. We were supposed to storm the place and take this gem they're holding. Only we can't. There's some sort of enchantment on the door. That door sealed. There's no way we're getting inside. So we'll have to wait for them to come out. Based on the activity I've seen, that should be very soon. Uh, I'm not gonna ask why they fall, why they fell back. I mean, if they can't get in, then that's. Uh, so what do we All do now? All we can do is prepare for them to come out. Once they do, it'll be our best chance to get the drop on them. Of course, since we can't get inside, we don't know how strong their numbers are or whether we really have a chance at this. Traven sent word that he wanted you in charge, so you've got it. You're in command. Tell us where you want us. If I may, I'd suggest that you put us in the best possible positions based on our abilities. Yeah, so basically this is like uh, handing the weapons to the fighter skill members. Uh, abilities. I have to admit, I'm better with an axe than I am with magic. I've been working on spell casting, but I still feel better with a weapon in hand. Okay, rules. Uh, there are two good locations to hide. One near here, and one closer to the door. Where do you want me to wait? Uh, so she's good with an axe, so she's gonna be up Okay, close. I'll go over there now. Let me know when everyone is ready. It's you. Ha! Huh? At your service. What do you need? Uh, I can manage with a weapon or with spells. But I've really been working on healing lately. I'm getting pretty good at it. So if we get him up close with the other one in close combat, which is likely where most of the damage is going to where be. Where should I wait? Up close or farther back? I'll try to help whomever I'm near. Up close. You've got it. I'll do my best to keep everyone healed. Well, I assume I'm that... ready to fight. Where do you need me? Abilities. Well, I excelled in my studies in magic, especially large-scale spells. I'm pretty accurate with them too. More accurate than swinging a sword. Yeah. Do you want me to stay back or You're stay up nearer to the door? So, having the bow would, would really be a plus here, but there is the risk that I might hit one of my allies and while that isn't um, important for this quest that they live, I don't want to kill innocents, particularly not when they are allied with me. Uh, keep right. your distance. I'm on my way. I've arrived at Cylon and spoken with Thalfin. We can enter the ruin, so I must help prepare an ambush. Ah, that's the name for the necromancers when they attempt to leave. That, that makes sense. Okay, uh, and then speak to Thalvin. I've discovered, I've been discovered by the necromancers, Cylon. They will surely have alerted Falcar and enter into the ruins and find him. Get the gem! The leader probably had it. That high elf! Get it back to Traven immediately or else this... Okay. I mean, I didn't... Oh, there they are. Let's get this over with. I fought. I heard you know how to move in light armor. Really? Two guys? Uh, okay then. That 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 was really not that great. Okay. So, no sentries, no guardians, nothing. So, I must remind myself that I don't have the bow while entering this place. And, necromancers aren't exactly known to carry bows around. So, this is going to be a bit tricky, but, well, trust in your sword, your shield, and your armor, and 
What are all the things you have to aid you? Let's see. So they are not that skilled at range combat. They excel more at mid range spell casting. Hello? Who's there? Nobody. <clears throat> hmm. Now, if any of them would have a key, that would surely be nice. Okay. You got a bad position there, mate. Ow! So, Falcar. You might remember Falcar. He was the one, the previous leader of the mages in Jaden Hall, where he sent us to a, on a quest that essentially for the recommendation is simply we're meant to drown us but we already had the jewel of the Romare at that point so yeah and now he is a key member of the necromancers well uh, if nothing else we can put a stop to that Bonk. Oh. Facing away, I don't mind. But... Hmm. It is locked. It was. Oh, 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 oh. You're facing away. No, you're facing me. Well, I have spells too, you know. Not the most powerful one. Oh my. You are the luckiest son of a biscuit. Oh wait, no you're not, you're dead. Ah! <laughs> I didn't really think a single, well that didn't help you. I didn't think a single fireball would do that much damage. Oh boy, oh boy. I could try a hit and run kind of tactics. I believe the fireballs actually have a fairly good range, like so. And run away! Ooh, it didn't kill him! Well. Let's go up here. Wait, and. Ooh, he's mad. They are. Ooh, maybe I should have taken one with recharge it a little faster. Your presence here will not be tolerated. What was that about my presence? You've seen nothing. Go back. Go back. Go back. There is nothing but ghosts here. And not the sound time for you. Go back. He actually did. Well, I got a fireball with your name on it. Want to see? Want to see for yourself? Just stand still there, and you'll see. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> you. Now stand still. Thank you. Woo. Really? Really? Hit and run spells. Who knew? Oops. Well, works better if I actually hit. That's the part of hit and run. It doesn't say miss and run. Get that sorted. Put the fire back on. Hmm. Until I, I reacquire a bow, it could actually be convenient for me to have another spell going. Uh, these are nice, but... Ultimately not. A 
Let's see what. Yeah, I don't have it. Mm. I think I have a more powerful version of the fit, so let's not use that just yet. God? That definitely looks nice. That's 30%. 5%. 40%. So that's the uh, toughest one. Mm. Summoning, I don't really have any kind of point to take them with me. So I think I should take shield. Yeah. We have a means of, if things get tough, then we both have a healing spell. A protection spell, a fire spell for damage, and weapons in case things go completely bonkers. He doesn't even summon up creatures! Well, and then now he can't see me. You are an unattentive prick. That'll do it. So I wasn't even spotted, technically. Uh, doesn't look like that up there is trapped. It never hurts to be careful. So I can go up there right now. Let's check the local map of this place. Ooh. Where does that lead? That leads to a different... That may lead to this room. Have to check it out. Noticed? No. Okay. I want to see where that leads. If it leads to a lone room, I mean it was locked. With a hard lock. With a hard lock. Nothing to worry about, I guess. Just my eyes playing tricks on me. Yes. Oh my god! That was on him. Ooh. He's summoning. That's a first. Can't do the job. Get a mace! Not close. Well, apparently he didn't have any friends. Or they come running right now. Or maybe that guy was just a prick. And the others hated him just. Oh! Treasure? Not often that these open up to Calcinated Treatises. I reckon that is a skill book with alchemy. Which is nice, let's read it. And since we aren't logging around a bow, we can actually keep it for the time being. There is a bookshop in Skingrad, I believe. Or maybe there isn't, but there definitely is a general store. You? What? Really? There isn't even a skill book? Well, off you go! Get out of here with that. Garbage! Ah, so it did lead to treasure. I was right. And it also lead to a potentially different way into the main chamber. Which I like. Normally I would just rely on my bow to get me through the hairy stuff from far, but when that isn't an option, which, I mean, I literally don't have my bow, or any bow for that matter, uh, then you need to be a little more creative with how you go about doing things. Oh. Oh. What is... Oh, that's just a piece of rock. I thought it was someone's really heavily, heavily armoured foot. Might as well. It hurts to be extra protected. So how's our armor rating right now? 85. Ooh. 
Sweet. Oh, you were a weak one. You died. To necromancers, I imagine that the death of their friends must actually be a boon. Given that they now have another rather powerful corpse to raise. Kind of odd that the others didn't raise any skeletons or any other undead to fight me. Oh, well, their loss of life, literally. So this should lead back to the room which we were in just before. Still, there's a lot. Okay, so that's the way to go. No axes in the ceiling. Good. Good. Oh. There are surprisingly few traps here, but then again, I suppose, if a lot of necromancers are wandering through these halls on a daily basis. You don't want to have to go and reset, reset all those traps all the time. So, I didn't see a button that allowed me access to cross this. What? silly. Well, that's obviously where we're going to leave. So, is this... Cylon Borosili? Cylon Sidosi. Uh, wait a minute. So, <clears throat> chances are that this also leads to the Sidosili. Leads out here where we can find some treasure and then essentially back. What we want is to get over there. I'm going to go back and see if there was a button. It could be that I just missed it. Okay, are there any mages over the, well, necromancers on the other side? Not that I can see, no. No buttons or... Oh. Nope, that was just the light from a hallway. It could be that the button is up there, and that's why we need to get there. Hmm. What did I say? Because... Uh, on a good day, on a good day, I could jump to there and over to there, but then I'd be stuck. So, yeah, we definitely have to go through this supplication. Alright, I was going to clear this place out anyway. Now I have a reason to. Well, the reason is that I wanted to kill every necromancer, but yeah. So what is our armor rating without the protection spell? 70. Okay. And now it's 85. Ooh. That is nice. Why am I on the spells tab? That's literally... I have all the spells ready, I think. I hear water. Eh, uh, that's not a particularly great sign. Okay. Oh, hello. Ha. Yep. Ha! His ass was on fire. I put him out. No, wait, I put him down. Hmm. Maybe I should have put it out and then put him down. Or maybe I should just put it out and he would be thankful. We'll never know. Damn it. Give me gold. And soldiers. Just as when I spoke about that I was using too many of them. And then I'm handed some for free. Well, I was required to go in and brutally murder some necromancers. But I don't really have any qualms with that. Like, it's necromancers. You look important. Die. Ooh, nice airtime. Note it yourself. Make necromancers more aerodynamic. 
How the heck didn't she notice? There was like, what, 10 meters or so and she didn't even notice? That is weird. Okay. Novice. Belkin, novice, novice. Well, you might have been powerful mages, but you were shit alchemists. Oh! Can I burn the banners? He, probably not, but he. Nope. Oh. That's no fun. Do you think? Oh, maybe that will do the trick. Any surprisingly few undead minions around. So I don't really mind that. And oh, there was a door all along. Who's hard? Wait, no, it's not. Ah. So this is the difficult way, quote unquote. Because you were not meant to go this way. You were meant to go the other way around because, oh, it's a hard lock, no, I can't deal. But then I did, and then you died. <laughs> ah. Whole lot of charred necromancers up here. Okay, water. In on its own, water is not so bad. Does it open it in the other side? Yes, it does. The fact that there are no black, dark looking stones that shoot magical missiles at me without even being able to fight back. Now there's a real kicker. So yeah, that would have led down to there. Ooh, there's definitely more to explore, yeah? So that's the big part. Yeah, right. So that the hmm. I see that. Wonder where it Well maybe that's the other way. Seems plausible as this connects to nothing. Doesn't even have any gold. Okay then. We'll go around the way they actually wanted us to go. And, uh, bash some heads of whatever stands in our way. Ooh, there's a lot over here. Is the water? Ye well, yes and no. Black milking stones? Not from what I can see. Ooh, I see that though. Oh, is that an adept? Or is that just a weird head? That was not a fireball! And we got a kill! Long distance fireball! Coming to charge you from afar! Long distance fireball! Uh. I'll not stick your head in a jar. Yeah. So... Hmm. You know there got to be something down there. All adventuring rules and laws says that the SMB must. That will be... Oh, he wasn't at it. She, 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 she. Kind of weird that the addict Could uh, take a, couldn't take a fireball, where to some of the non-ranked could. That's fine. Huh. Well, before we jump into the water, you know the deal. Off with the Ring of Aegis, and on with the Jewel of the Romanas, so we don't drown. Hmm. Okay. Now what we're looking for is not only treasures, I'll show buttons of any kind. Uh, ooh, pressure! It's 
Ha! Well, I can't use spells, so we'll have to go manually. Lock picking underwater. That sounds like something a James, James Bond would do to get out of a villain's lair. Probably while wearing a compact... Are you kidding me? <clears throat> a compact rebreather. Well, that was kind of lame. No, it wasn't kind of lame, it was totally lame. Hmm. I hear water bubbling. What I'm listening for is that if there is the harsh breathing of a wraith. Take that off. And put that back on again. Definitely keeping us alive. Oh, this one. No! Damn it! Stop doing that and give me some goddamn go- Thank you! So where does this come out? Ah! That was where I thought it was. Ooh! A double player door! How very secure! Hmm. I don't hear any harsh whispering. Are there ladders or other ways to get back up in case one should fall? Hmm. I don't trust this to not be trapped. It's unaccessible for the mage, for the necromancers! Speaking of which, hello! Ooh, tough cookie. You can't perform spells because then you're just getting. What's the matter, getting tired? <laughs> No, but you might need to rest. You seem pretty stupid. You had spells! And with how quickly that summoning skeleton recharged, or summoning zombie, you had a chance to do damage. You could have just kept summoning, stayed away, and deal damage in range, but no, you had to be stupid and try to go melee with a guy in armor! Moron! Okay. We are looking to see if there is natural ways to... Oh. oh, I knew there would be ghosts, there would be wraiths here. Ugh. Ah, damn it. Ah, that did the trick. Two fireballs and the ghost have been exterminated. What do you want to call them? Fireball! Was that a No, it was just a regular wraith. I expect the gloom wraith to be a little more of a tough customer. So that seems like it can bend and go down to the water. Good, good. Which all seems clear up here. Back on with the duel of the Romare. Off with that, on with that. So I've never seen undead on the, the water. All I've ever seen is fish. Like that. Well, short lived. To be fair, they aren't really that tough, and there isn't a stronger variety of the slaughterfish. So, if you encounter slaughterfish, that's the bog standard one hit kill slaughterfish. Like that. Which, ah, I've had my grasp with this before, so I'm not really gonna go into a long terrain about it again. Uh, just know that. One. Oh, there you are. Wait, what? Oh, you were relaxing. Well, sorry to have to bother you, but uh, yeah.
No lose ends. That includes you, fishy. So... It would have been semi-dangerous to fall down there had I not been, you know, overlevelled and able to breathe and having powerful magical weapons that smash fish up in an instant. But, you know, that's sometimes how it is. Alright, so fish was all that was there. Well, that and a little bit of treasure, but not really worth. I wasn't changing weapons. I was changing my rings. Hmm. Actually, what do the... So that is for sneaking. Eh, it's... This is pretty grand. It's a sort of overall. And it allows me to check if there are living creatures close by, like around the corner. And resist poison is kind of cool too. So there's a lot of bonuses. Small, small bonuses, but a lot of them. Uh... Yeah, they all have constant effect, but that's just because... So, I have a feeling that this would just lower the gates once more. And I have no interest in that. So, is this... Cylon? Wait, what? Oh, yes, because we didn't have access to the bridge up above. But we do now, because here's the button. Yes. Ooh, and treasure. That I can't use, or won't use. Please be gold. Gauntlets of Brutality. Cool. But that's, that's a dangerous slope to go down. Anything that boosts your strength is something that you want to be on the lookout for. Why more water walking? Water breathing, I can understand because, you know, there's water. Are there traps in this? I hope not, because that would make it... Ding. What? I heard something go metallical bang. No. Okay, it's a new area. Well, there wasn't anything here. Wool City. So this is where Falcar, most likely, is at. Right. Let's take him and his underlings down. This is not just... There's Wraith somewhere here. Son of a... Damn it. Who are you? Hello. Have you heard of the Lord and Savior, uh, Mr. Fireball? I'll take that as a no. Well, allow me to introduce you. Damn it. Why do necromancers not care about wealth? Money makes the world go right. Ooh. Speaking of making money, making money. You make none. Ooh. Showing your face was... You can see my face? That's pretty amazing. I have a... I have a pretty tight shot helmet on my head. Ha! Oh, no. Ha! The old jumping loot! So none of your friends hurt you. He die, damn you! Ah! Falcar. Dagger of the Inferno. Falcar's key. Colossal black sword gem. Yoink! I recover the black sword gem. Needs to be taken back to Hannibal Traven at the Arkham University. So what were you f Oh, a leech. Really? Let me handle that for you. Wow. Yes, bring a skeleton. Are you able to heal? I don't think you are. Really? It was a 
wasn't even a powerful lich, it was just a nether lich. You suck. Eh, dagger of the Inferno. Well, there wasn't much Inferno over your ass. It's kind of odd. Well, as I suppose he didn't have... He wasn't a full-blown necromancer, he was just a bad dude. Well, you know what happened to bad dudes? Ooh. Oh, and there's another... Oh, and look at that! Oh, my... Oh, no. I probably could have reasoned with them. Ah, I will look that up afterwards. Right now, we got some ghosts to take care of. And a leech, too. Uh. Ooh, yeah, that's not good. How many did we aggravate? There we go, extra protection. Got the fireball lined up, but it's not ready. See how long they're willing to go to chase me. They aren't the fastest creatures, but they can't go invisible, so at least I can see them if they do that. Hmm. Another Nether Lich. Job done. So why were you the one aggravated? You weren't the one getting hit. You, sir, confuse me. Hmm. Maybe he was just the most... eager to fight. Yeah, I didn't think that would hit. So we... shoot a fireball and then we run. Yep. Ooh, that one did not a lot of damage. That's... Ugh. Behind this pillar. Wait. The good thing is that they don't have an ability to heal. Mm. Are you coming all the way through so I can hit you again? Oh, that's not for you. Really? Isn't he, is he not aggressive by that? Hmm. Is he coming this way? No, he's running away. Well, floating away. Oh, it's a gloom wraith. That explains it. Still not ag aggressive. Uh, okay. No more. You're just a regular one, aren't you? What? I mean, I know I'm sneaky, but... I mean, I literally shot a fireball at it. Okay, well, you insist. Really? Okay. Care of that. Hmm. I am concerned about that one. And I like it as one on the other side too. Uh, oh, yep, yeah, it's glowing. Son of a biscuit. There is no way to avoid detection. Even going invisible won't help you. The best thing you can do is seek cover. And, uh, being able to run. 
it up. That was the wrong spell. But we are out of reach for the turret for the last stone. Really? Seven pieces of gold in there. Here it can't see me because of the pillar. But the button. Well, is it turned? Nope, it is not turned off. It is still there, and I don't know how to disable it. it. What exactly did that do? I mean, I pushed the button, yeah, but. Hmm. 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 I know it's the way out. There's treasure in here. There's also that damn stone. Hit! <laughs> it can't hit! <laughs> oh, how would I even be able to get up there? I don't see a stairwell or anything. So, bait the fire. Run! Huh, it apparently have a very short range. Okay. And this should lead back to Silo. It does! Well, I don't know why they suddenly turned on Falcar, but my guess would be that Falcar wasn't actually a necromancer. It was just a powerful mage working for a necromantic lord, but as such he didn't himself have power or control over the creatures summoned here. And those creatures at this level, well the level we just left, were natural undead. Undead put in place by the place in order to protect it. And well, necromancers coming in and awakening the dead tends to disturb something called Peace of the Tomb. Right, well, we have extra time. This means that I will use the last 10 minutes, uh, depending on how much cleaning up needs to be done here, but I doubt it. Unless my fellow battle mages have been attacked by another force of necromancers, but that... Oh. I was about to say, didn't I? Was I... Was, oh, I, I entered and exited the same place. Alright, less confusing as it seemed. What is over there, actually? Eh, probably nothing. Well, no one you have spawned, so... How are you today? You've got the gem? Get it back to Traven immediately, or else this whole attack was a waste. I mean, you say that, but really, let's calm down with the hasting stuff, okay? Be calm, be cool. Okay, active quests. Sword of the Crusader. Whoop! Right near life. Hmm. It could be that there also is a bow at the Priory, which will suit me fine. Well, I mean, I plan to pick up a bow and necromancers aren't exactly known to be archers. So it works. And if there isn't one, well, it's not a big loss. Through the wilds and... Are those the roofs I see? Okay. What have we coming at that coming at us? Those two stones are just oddly shaped rocks that's there. This is how. Oh, that does explain it. Spriggin. Yeah. You know what's good against a creature made of wood? A maze that deal fire damage. I was about to say it doesn't make sense for a bear to attack the fully armed warrior. Particularly not a black bear. Black bears aren't that hostile. Brown bears, however, 
Well, they will issue out regardless of how you look. Huh. So it was not the first buildings. Oh. What the shite fuck? Something's hurling magic at me. Oh. Really? Where did you come from? Learn lesson the first time. That's well, probably a different one, but don't you treat of some sort of telepathic ways of communicating, saying that hey, this guy over here is running around with a fire weapon. He's bad news. <coughs> Apparently not. Oh well. Right. Before we enter and start on a new line of quests, let's recharge base. And repair what repair what is needed for repairs and us leveling up not only our blood skill, well we did, but also ooh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use that, I'm gonna sell it. Because I'm a cheap skin like that. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can get it any lower than 150. Okay, that was... Huh. No broken hammers and no little game. Well, okay. Lord Crusader, the Prophet is here. He's just arrived. He seemed to know you were coming told me to wait for you, and here you are! Come. He is preaching to the assembled knights in the chapel. You should speak to him at once. Okay, then. Oh, not, not at the uh, secret underground base with all the tombs of the knights and all of that? No. Well, okay. So, let's hear, about the, hear what the prophet has to say. We'll stash and store our stuff and get ready for a fight against Umaril. That is what all this has been up to, at least for the Knights of Night. Oh, there's a lot of people here. Who are you? Brelin? Sir Knight, allow me to introduce myself. I am Brelin of Sylvanar, at your service. I come to offer myself as a knight in service of Oriel, or Akatosh, as he is known in Cyrodiil. I bring nothing but my skill with the blade, which is not inconsiderable, and my devotion to the Lord Oriel. Will you accept me, as unworthy as I am? Yes, sure. I am honored to join the order under your illustrious I mean, the more the merrier. Excuse me while I go to the armory and attire myself as befits a Knight of the Nine. I was about to say, yeah, you look weird. So all the others are in uh, knight gear bit less than what I have, but, uh, okay, Prophet! You have stepped from the humble shadows of obscurity and into legend. No feat you have accomplished in your life compares to what you have become. You are an embodiment of Pelinol Whitestrake, the bane of Umaru the Unfeathered. The time has come for you to fulfill... Ooh, God of Malatar, we know that place. Umaru lies hid in the ancient fane of Garlas Malatar. You must go there and destroy him. That sounded weird, the last part. Like, he was angry at the first. Uh, this is the tomb that you must go to and destroy him. Huh? What 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 with the, what with the lag was the reverse dramatic effect? I would go to. He is in the tomb of Gala's Malatar. You must go there and destroy him. See, that's much more dramatic. I'm ready then. No. Should you face Umaru, you would suffer the same fate as Pelinor. The times change, and even the shape of the divine itself must change with it. Where once there were eight, now one more stands with them, 
and they have become nine. Uh, you mean Talos? I, with the apotheosis of Tiber Septum, the face of the divine was transformed. Talos ascended, and the eight became <laughs> nine. So, all wow. you wear the armor this guy is amazing at math. Incomplete, a relic of the old ways and the old gods. So you want me to get something of Talos to smack Umaril across the face? As a proven guardian of this realm. And a warrior the likes of which have not been seen in millennia. Talos grants you his sacred blessing. With the ancient gifts of the eight and the new gift of the one, you are ready to face Umaril. Blessing of Talos added. What does the blessing it do? It will allow you to follow Umaril into the spirit realm. Upon his death, it will allow you to destroy him, body and soul, utterly and for all time. You must first kill his living body. While beyond the power of most mortals, this is only the lesser of your two tasks. His Daedric nature allows his spirit to escape into oblivion after death. Oh, this is what Pelinor learned upon defeating Umaril the first time. But you can do what Pelinor could not. The blessings of Talos will allow you to follow Umaril's spirit when it leaves his body. This you must do, and you must not fail. You will not, because the Nine fight with you. Ah. Uh. Yeah, as much as I love the lore, I'm not really fond of how the guy who is Chirgoreth in Skyrim is doing these lines. Well, at least he's not as yelling as when, yelling as when he was in the streets of Anvil. So. Your knights will assemble at Garlas Malatar and await you there. Gather all those who you deem worthy. Not all who enter those halls shall return. Those who fall in service of the Nine will live on forever in the halls of their fathers. I wish you well on your quest, Crusader. We are depending on you. Commander. <laughs> well, at least I know where it is. It is north of Anvil. Along the coastline, I have been granted the blessing of towers by the Prophet, and now ready to destroy Muriel. My knights are on their way to Gallus Malathar to prepare for our final assault on this fortress, which is over here. So that's the big one out in the water. And uh, if you have not installed the Knights of the Nine DLC, nothing is there. Kind of cheeky, but me, eh, that's what it is. Hmm. Well, that definitely leads us to Anvil. Which is nice, but. Hmm. I have a feeling that we're not yet done with the Fighters Guild stuff in Anvil, but we cannot do it before we've been to Coral. Uh, yeah, alright. Hmm. Well, we got one extra night, so that's nice. <coughs> but uh, I've already spoken about how I feel about going into a place with followers, either one or a lot of them in this case. Though I'm positive that the knights can fend for themselves. I don't think it would give me much of a chance to bring out my bow. They're likely to rush forward and, well, get themselves yes, killed. Commander. But, 
I'm just thinking out loud now. If I'm... <clears throat> oh, there aren't enough horses, eh? Well, okay. Um, what I'm thinking is... If I charge ahead with a melee weapon, probably my blade, since that's my highest melee, my highest skill in terms of combat, with the shield effect on, I should have a pretty decent chance of making it out with as many of the knights as possible. Which I'd consider as admirable. Hmm. We're actually close to getting another level in blunt. But I think we'll do that, I'll do that off camera and essentially run there. Light armor, that should come naturally. Armor is the same. Marksman will park that for the time being. What was that skill that only was 22? Oh, Altry. Ah, well. Yes, Lord the, Crusader? But. Oh! The guy who was getting his gear. I'm not really fond of the Lord Crusader, but. I mean, Crusader will do. Sure, I'm. Better than all of you combined, but uh, why would you keep a torch in a chest by your bed indoors in a well lit hall? I'm gonna find out who's using this bed, and he's not gonna make it back from Garlic Malatar. So, this is supposed to be my room, right? Eh? I thought that it was actually enchanted. It's not. Uh, what even is that? Is that the blades? No, I don't think so. Hmm. Oh yeah, the blades are basically like... What happened? You went out into the world several, several years ago and we've just kept Brother Martin safe. And I was like, ah, whoops. <laughs> Okay, hmm. So I think. Wow! My books are haunted! God damn you, Umaril! Curse you all to hell! Ooh. Oh, is that a ring? Uh. No, it is a. in fact, a nail to keep the leg in place below the table. Uh. Armory. I don't think I should. I, well, I could pilfer their stuff, but I just risk finding more torches. Which would make sense if this were a dark dungeon or the cold outside where you couldn't see, but no, this is inside a well-lit building. Unless you're really freaking scared of the dark. But why would you then have a mace? Oh, we got a smith. You know, I... I don't care about that. Rumors! They say... So... I can repair my stuff, but I can't buy or sell stuff. Be seeing you. Okay. Yarn. Bam. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. The Undercroft. No, I don't think I need to go in there. Barrel? Barrel? We will just forget about that. Boop. Hmm, chesties. Steel longsword. Yep. Iron one. The Knights of the Nine. Curious. So these are just the unenchanted light armored version. So all my knights are in light armor. So not the typical knight attire, like. Well, depending on what era of knights you're thinking about. The early crusades. Knight basically just had a chainmail coif and a robe, maybe a shield, but usually just a two handed uh, sword and wasn't always mounted. Oh well, in the next episode, we shall take Gala's Malatar and 
We shall fight Umaril the Unfeathered and bring an end to the Knights of Nine DLC. But until then, take care.